Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Audrey Twinkle 99. Thanks for the suggestion, Audrey. You asked, why do old people have a distinct smell? Now, before anyone gets offended, let's be clear. We're not talking about personal hygiene or what cologne your grandpa wears. This is an actual scientific phenomenon with a fancy name, no Ninel. Yep, science decided to give it a name. So it's officially a thing. So what's causing this mysterious scent? Is it wisdom seeping from their pores? Is it decades of experience being released into the air? Or is it just a byproduct of too many Werther's originals and old furniture? Let's sniff out the truth, right here on Explaining Everything. If you've ever walked into your grandma's house and thought, yep, this smells like memories, you're not alone. Many people recognize this distinct, slightly musty, slightly sweet scent that seems to accompany the elderly. Scientists have studied this and found that our body odor actually changes as we age. Babies, teenagers, adults, and seniors all have different scent profiles. It's kind of like perfume, but biologically mandated. And no, it's not because all old people secretly use the same brand of fabric softener. This unique smell is caused by a chemical compound called 2 no -nenal. All right, let's break it down. 2 no -nenal is an odor-producing compound that starts showing up in human skin around age 40 and beyond. It's produced when fatty acids in the skin break down through oxidation, basically exposure to air. So in simple terms, as you age, your skin naturally creates more of this compound, and it lingers. Why? Because no nenal is hydrophobic. It doesn't dissolve easily in water. So even if grandma showers regularly, this scent is kind of like a stubborn guest who refuses to leave. Scientists believe this happens due to hormonal changes, slower skin cell turnover, and oxidative stress. In short, your body is aging, and it wants the world to know. Younger people don't produce much no nenal because their skin is constantly regenerating at a faster rate. The oils and sweat they produce contain different compounds, often leading to other signature smells, like gym socks, teenage bedrooms, or a cologne overdose. If you've ever sat next to a teenager on public transport, you know they have their own biological scent. And trust me, if we're choosing between teen locker room and old person smell, I'm taking the latter every time. While no Nino is the main culprit, there are other reasons why elderly people might have a distinct smell. First, skin changes. As we age, we produce less oil, sebum, which alters our natural scent. It's like nature turning down the new car smell and replacing it with antique store aroma. Second, diet. A lifetime of eating certain foods can subtly influence body odor. Spicy foods, coffee and alcohol can all add layers to the mix. So, if Grandpa's been drinking black coffee every morning for 60 years, you better believe it's part of his essence. Third, medications. Many elderly people take medications, which can sometimes cause changes in body odor. Fourth, old furniture and fabrics. Let's be real. Some of that old person smell might actually just be the couch. Years of fabric-absorbing scents from the house can create a distinct atmosphere. Fifth, 
less frequent showers. Some seniors don't bathe as often due to mobility issues or sensitive skin, which can lead to a stronger scent. So really, it's a mix of biology, environment, and a little bit of life experience baked into the air. If you're wondering whether this smell can be minimized, the answer is yes, but not entirely. Since no neenal is resistant to water, regular soap and water alone don't always wash it away. But there are some ways to tone it down. First, proper skin care. Using mild acidic soaps, like ones containing persimmon extract, can help break down no neenal. Who knew persimmons were out here fighting the good fight? Second, hydration. Staying hydrated and eating antioxidant-rich foods can help reduce oxidative stress, which might slow down the production of no neenal. Third, good ventilation. Keeping rooms well ventilated helps reduce the accumulation of stagnant air that contributes to old person house smell. Fourth, washing fabrics more often. Because let's face it, sometimes the scent isn't coming from the person. It's coming from that armchair from 1972 that hasn't seen the inside of a washing machine ever. Believe it or not, scientists think there might be an evolutionary reason behind the old person smell. Some studies suggest that older people's scent is less intense than that of younger adults, making it less likely to trigger negative reactions in others. In contrast, middle-aged adults, prime reproductive years, tend to have the strongest, most noticeable body odors. Thanks evolution. Some researchers believe this mild scent may have once served as a social cue, kind of like nature's way of saying, this person has wisdom and experience, respect them. Of course, modern society has replaced this with Google searches and podcasts, but the scent persists. At the end of the day, the distinct scent of elderly people isn't something to be ashamed of. It's just part of the natural aging process. It's the same way babies smell like baby powder and college students smell like instant ramen and regret. So next time you notice that familiar old person smell, just remember, it's a lifetime of wisdom, memories, and maybe a little oxidation all wrapped into one nostalgic aroma. And hey, one day, we'll all have our own signature old person scent. So start planning now. Will yours be vintage library or classic vanilla? If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.